it's Andrea Gamal here from Creative Creations and yeah I'm back with another um, Creative Creation stamps tutorial for you. Today we will work with this chubby chick with the perfect just the way I am stamp set featuring a curvy girl. Yep. Um, so we will use this one and this is just perfect for so many things um, like using it in planners and for cards. I just love 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 this for cards for some encouragement. Um, yeah, however, we will um, create um, an art journal page using this stamp set today and that's what it looks like. I know the lighting kind of sucks, however, you get the idea. And I will stamp on some transparent, on some vellum sheets here to add my elements, my stamped images, my curvy girl here, that scale. And yeah, we will create the background using distress oxides and some texture paste, um, collaging some book pages, uh, using Faber Castell gelatos, some acrylic paint, some stamping. So just a really fun wild crazy mix so yeah i think without further ado let's jump right in let's get started i hope you all enjoy this if you have any questions feel free to ask and um, if you want to grab that stamp set it is available in my shop i will add the link down there into the info box so yeah let's get started enjoy guys so I'm working in my DNA 4 size art journal here and I'm starting um, on a blank page just using some distress oxides and one of those dabber tools and just a random um, stencil. This one's by the Crafters Workshop if I'm right and I'm just applying the um, distress oxides over the stencil to kind of apply the texture um, and the design onto the page. Um, you don't need to go for the perfect stenciled image here because later we will um, activate the color and it will blend and bleed um, around with the water. So just add a little bit of texture without being too precise and accurate. Yeah, and once I'm happy with the result here, I'm just grabbing um, a spritzer bottle of some clear water. You can just use one of those tiny spritzer bottles or just a large one uh, which you basically use for flowers as I do here. And then I'm just applying the water onto the page, just spritzing the designs here and this will activate the color from the distress oxides so they will kind of blend and bleed and uh, mix and mingle. <laughs> Make sure you don't add like too much water because you still want to keep a little bit of the basic design. And once this is dry, I'm applying a little bit of white acrylic paint just to kind of mute the page a little, adding it with my brayer and then and grabbing some old book pages here from some vintage flea market finds and uh, gluing those uh, scraps from the book pages to my page adding a little more on another layer of a little more white acrylic paint with my brayer so kind of it's a back and forth and um, just adding in layers next I'm grabbing a stencil and just applying a tiny bit of some spray paint here this is actually a spray paint that I made myself just using or some um, Ecoline watercolors um, and adding some water and some like um, iridescent medium so I kind of ended up with a spray paint very similar to uh, Glimmer Mist and next I'm adding some spritzes here of this just using this like um, this thingy from the <laughs> bottle <laughs> to add some larger splatters yeah next I'm using some black archival ink here and just a random background stamp, design stamp, uh, and I'm stamping it onto the page to add a little more texture again. And uh, yeah, next some Faber Castell gelatos, just creating some random circles here using the gelatos. And I try to pick some colors that are kind of matching the distress oxide colors that are already used in the background. Um, yeah, then I'm just kind of um, 
spreading it out and blending it with my fingers and because of the uh, watercolor paper in the journal and the underneath the layer of acrylic paint this blends really nice with your finger if it doesn't work you can just use a baby wipe and this makes it easier the blending as you can see I'm just adding a little bit of a different color here some pink and some yellow just to add a little bit more depth and dimension to those um, circles and this kind of makes them uh, appear a little more like um, dimensional bubbles yeah and just a little bit of shading down here with a uh, green faber castell gelato and then i'm adding a little bit of white acrylic paint just spreading it out to kind of um merge <laughs> the colors together a little more here until i am happy with the result just make sure that you don't use like a very very um very um <laughs> what is the word i'm kind of running out of words here <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure the the white acrylic paint is slightly translucent so that you don't cover it all up with uh, the white acrylic paint that's what i was about to say yeah next i'm grabbing a brush and some black acrylic paint just adding a very loose doodly um, outline to those circles here just really using or yeah taking advantage of the pressure on the brush here so that i end up with a variation in the thickness of the line um, adding some extra circles here, just uh, playing, having fun and adding some marks here to the page, just some black marks, brush marks. So really it is no rocket science uh, behind this, just some uh, a random mix and match and play and just having fun and doing what feels right and what, what I kind of feel like doing so <laughs> it's sometimes hard to explain um yeah so next step once everything is dry i'm grabbing another stencil and some white texture paste here a white lightweight texture paste just to kind of mute the whole page down a little and to kind of bring all the elements the foreground and the background a little more together and then i'm just adding a tiny bit more uh, black acrylic paint here black acrylic paint stenciling to kind of um, repeat the black color from the circles because um, it was kind of a little harsh and so I added a little more black to um, other areas of the page to kind of repeat this and this kind of brings it all a little more together and adds to this um, balanced overall look and next I'm grabbing my um, my stamp set here this is the uh, perfect just the way I am stamp set and I'm just grabbing some of the smaller images that are on the set here and then I'm just using black ink to stamp them directly onto the page here you are enough and the next one here is um, confidence so really just um, adding to the background design and then I have just some scraps of um, normal graph paper just note paper and I'm just inking it with my distress oxides and then I'm adding a little bit of water and a little more of the distress oxides to kind of add a little bit of color to this all those graph paper scraps here before I'm applying them to my page here yeah using my heat tool to dry those and then I'm just grabbing a black ink pad to slightly ink the edges of those paper scraps here and then I'm using some collage glue to kind of create um, a base on here um, the base for my main focal elements to go on later so I planned a little ahead which I <laughs> rarely ever do when I'm art journaling but I just needed a little bit of a uh, more quiet base to add my focal elements to here so I just uh, use those paper scraps or paper stripes here and I also stamped onto those some of the words from the stamp set that kind of go very well with the images and those images I already stamped them with black archival ink onto some vellum sheet um, and then I'm just gluing it down onto my page just using some Mod Podge just make sure um, if you use a wet glue like Mod Podge to um, glue down vellum just use a very very little glue because if you use too much glue it will like buckle the vellum and it doesn't look that pretty anymore so just use a tiny bit of the glue um, yeah and as you can see this kind of allows the underneath layers to peek through which I really love it kind of really 
um, lets the the main images melt into the background, which I really really love. And then I'm just using some white here to um, yeah add some paint splatters. And in the next step, I'm using my orange and my uh, neon pink irresistible um, inks to add some more splatters. And those dry slightly raised, and they kind of remain shiny, almost like those. Um, um, animal dots, glue dots that you can purchase and I really really love that look. Yeah and that is already it and I had so much fun creating this art journal page and I hope you enjoyed watching me create this. If you enjoyed the stamps that I used in this tutorial you can find all of my creative creations clear stamps, many different playful whimsical sets which are perfect for creating happy mail, pocket letters, art journaling, cards, for scrapbooking, for planner girls. In my shop you can find the link below the video or just hop on over to the link displayed and um, yeah, check them out and grab your favorites. <music>